Hello. Today we're gonna be making macaroni. Why does my... Anyways, today we are going to be making macaroni. I kind of like already put the thingy on the on the thingy and it's already boiling. You're right next to this this dog. Here we have a bowl that has macaroni in it. It's two cup. It has one cup of macaroni in it. So let me just quickly run through all the steps. Fill this up with water, put salt in the water, you know, and like turn it on, and then measure out your macaroni. So let me quickly get out all the ingredients. I will show you. Number one, flour, cheese, and milk. This is the cheese I'm using. You cannot even see anything. I'm using sharp. Cheddar. I don't. I don't think it really matters. So basically, you're gonna need. I'll put all the statistics. So first things first, your butter. You're gonna need one tablespoon of this. I estimate with that because it's already on the platform. Then you're gonna need a tablespoon of flour. Then you're gonna need. Uh, this is for one serving, by the way. So you're gonna have to double these numbers for however many. Then you're gonna need a half cup of milk. Then one cup of the cheese of your selection. I also sometimes throw in mozzarella just to make it a little more stringy. So for extra stringiness, throw in your mozzarella. You also need salt if you're feeling up to it. Because you can put this in the water and it'll do something. Also pepper. I don't put this on anything because I don't like pepper, but you can you can do that. I just dropped one. Next step is draining everything. So now I'm just using this like spatula thingy. You're my hey, we were married that night. I screamed up to the sky, this one's mine. And you better take care of my baby. Boom. So um might want to refrain from actually making a cup. That is that is a lot more than I thought. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your butter and you're gonna scoop a tablespoon if I know where that marking is. This is where the tablespoon comes in. So you're gonna take your flour and you're gonna just scoop out a nice tablespoon. Make sure you shake it and don't try and pack in, like try to pack it down because that just adds more flour and you want it to be like fluffy so. Fireworks froze like stars in the sky. We'll always remember the 4th of July. Look in your eyes. Just mixing it in. Here's the next step. Oh, geez. So now you're going to take your half cup of milk and you're going to go ahead and put it in there. Been a part of. So I'm going to start with all the racism that I put onto the internet as a adult, not a child. I was at least 20 when I started YouTube, and I made the decision to play stereotypes of black people, or Asian people, or Mexicans, or uh, pretty much every race. I made that decision. I said, oh, this is funny, and I put it on the internet. And last but not least, your cheese. So you're going to put a cup in. This is a half cup, so I'm putting two. But that is my best friend, and I was actually truly shocked that people thought that I was going to distance myself from him or that my silence was anything but support. I know Shane from now. I don't know Shane from 10 years ago, and he doesn't know me from 10 years ago. Now, do I agree with Shane's past actions? Of course I don't. And does he agree with my past behavior? Of course he doesn't. I know the amazing person that he is today, and you don't abandon your friends. I know a lot of people have said, Jeffrey, you've had a lot of tumultuous friendships in the beauty world. Yes, I 100% have. But in reality, I have a lot of amazing real people behind the scenes, and I'm forever grateful for those people who always remind me of who I am, because lately, I definitely was slipping. Now, what me and Shane accomplished together, business wise, I hope that inspires anyone out there that wants to start a business that is an entrepreneur or who is afraid to get off. What it looks like. So we're going to turn the burners off again. I'm just gonna bring this over to this cutting board. Then again, um, I might want to refrain from making a cup of that. Um, it's not, that's a lot. This is the finished product. Again, um, I want to go a little easy on the mac and cheese. That, that is a lot. But yeah, that is how we make macaroni. That's how I make macaroni. Nobody else here really eats it religiously as I do, but that's how I make it. would recommend anything else to add i'm gonna take that as a no this is cooking with adriana possibly part one i have no idea 
if I've made others. So cooking with Adriana part one. Goodbye.